Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will be focusing on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. It is about 3 o'clock in the morning on the Simbilis land. Ilsa is trying to nurture these grubs. She's not feeling tired at all. They have to nurture the grubs for them to be healthy and then they can harvest them into grub meal and then they make grub dogs out of them. The rest of the family is rather tired as it is three in the morning and they're getting ready to go to bed. Ilsa is almost done nurturing these grubs. It's here from the land of the dead. Ilsa sees him. How are you doing father? It's so good to see you from the land of the dead. You know that mother has ended the feud with the the box heads? I don't know if I should be happy or angry about it. At least it won't bug me when I become the leader of the Symbolist clan. You should be happy that you won't have that over your head. Your soul will feel lighter and your leadership of the Symbolist clan won't be darkened by decisions of your mother. Do you ever sleep in the land of the dead, father? I've always wondered. We don't sleep in the land of the dead. We are so busy trying to repair the broken tubs and broken toilets that we don't even have time for Kava. Do you eat in the land of the dead father? I can't believe that my father comes from the land of the dead and I ask him about things like do you eat and do you sleep? I could get strange knowledge from the land of the dead. But what would I ask my father? Now Ilsa is going to be the chiefess. She does become an adult in a day. She could work on some skills before she becomes an adult. She should probably work on her charisma. Being very confident is going to make her level her speaking faster. We'll just leave her to do that. It looks like fifth is almost rested up. We're gonna have him get up. He's gonna go tend to those chickens. He's taking on some responsibility. His grandmother scolded him the other day for wasting pigment and flour. So she is trying to teach him some responsibility. So he is doing his chores. and Hopefully this will make Isle happy. He's very concerned about making his grandmother happy. She is the head of the clan still. Ilsa is very close to leveling her charisma. We're just gonna leave her to do that. Fifth has done some of his chores. He saw this table that the adults were playing a game on the other day. He is going to try to figure out how to play this game while everybody's asleep. So if he makes a mistake, nobody is going to laugh at him. Ronan's woken up. He's pretty rested. He should probably get ready to go to work. He was trying to practice singing. Ronan is part of a club called the Major Chords. They sing, but Ronan is tone deaf. Ilsa is really angry angry. It seems that she is jealous from a flirty spouse. Now, we do know that Ronan is much like her father Flint and that he thinks that all of the women who exist in the world are for him. I don't know if she saw him flirting with someone at a party or maybe he was talking in his sleep, but she's thinking about something her husband did. She's starting to get hungry and perhaps cooking something will get her mind off her husband's infidelities. She is going to make some fried fish. The boys have been out fishing and they've gathered a lot of fish for the family. So she is going to work on her cooking skills. Ronenthal's getting a little bit hungry. He's gonna go see if there are any leftovers. He is going to uh, go grab some boiling frog hot pot from the cold box and then he's gonna go out to fish. He needs to practice his fishing because he uh, did acquire a job as a fisherman to bring money to the family. Og is joining fifth with this brand new game and they've just become good friends. New family dynamic jokesters cue up the punchline fifth and Og just can't stop cracking each other up always a hoot when these two are in the same room family members with jokester family dynamic choose to perform funny or mischief interactions with each other more often they'll feel extra playful when spending time together would you describe the family dynamic between fifth and Og as jokesters sure we'll do that so Ilsa is in here eating with her husband who she's very angry at now Ronan is feeling really flirty he is done eating his food he woke up feeling flirty. Yeah, he's gonna flirt with his wife. You are so fine looking. When are we gonna work on having that heir to the Symbolis family? When are you gonna be ready to do that? I think it's trashy that we're waiting so long to try to have that baby. How could I possibly think about having a baby when I saw you flirting with other women? I saw you in here with Ola Mag. You were hitting on my sister-in-law. I can't believe that. We haven't even been married for two days and you were already looking at other women. I only 
was looking at other women because we weren't trying to have that baby. It really bugs me that we're married and you're not even trying to hug me or kiss me or anything. They're having their first argument. Ilsa is not feeling well. She is going to go lay down. Maybe that will help her health improve if she goes to rest. I don't want to be around you. I think you're making me ill. I'm going to go sleep. Ronenthal is going to go fish so he can practice his fishing skills that he needs for work. Og's starting to get a little hungry. We'll have him eat some of the fish that his mom made. Fifth is bored with this game. Fifth doesn't like it. And it seems talking to his brother, even though he really likes him, is draining him. We'll have him go fish as well. Maybe that'll improve his mood. Boys are in here and they're enjoying the fish that Ilsa made. Og's feeling really playful. His brother just got in here, but he's finished his food. He's not going to hang around. There's things that he has to do. All of the members of the Sevillas family, even the children, have important roles to play in the family to keep the family going as we are in the early civilization. While they can play with their toys, their contribution to doing chores and bringing in fish and food uh, is important or the family might not survive. The smell of the fish that Ilsa made has made Isle run away from the rock house. She's coming in here to eat this. Flint is not feeling the best. He's sort of playing with his food. He's uncomfortable. He's overthinking. Grandmother, I don't know where my place is in the clan. I don't know if I should fish or garden or take care of the grubs. Looks like Flint has reached social level 10. Flint has just become good friends with his grandmother, Isle. Anything you choose to do in this family is very helpful to this family. And we will love you. Doing chores does help the family. So you pick a chore you like the most. Love is very important in doing a good job. Flint just has to figure out what chore out of all the chores that he does is the one that he loves. He's feeling happy about talking to his grandmother about his concerns. So Flint is taking up the job of cleaning up the dirty pots and pans. There's a dirty cava pot from the party that no one cleaned up. Flint is going off to do some fishing with his brother Fifth and his stepfather Ronan. He's trying to act on his grandmother's advice and take the chore that he likes to do the most to contribute to the family. And even though there are a lot of great fish out here, it looks like the fish are too crafty for Fifth. But Fifth is just going to keep trying to fish because he sees all those fish in the water and he is determined to learn how to fish and catch them. It looks like Ronan caught a box that the time travelers have tossed into the ocean and it happened to contain a cava root. I'll see that Og is tending to the garden. She's going to go off and harvest the plants in the magical plant section of the garden. Then she is going to work on some woodworking. Fifth is not feeling good out here. He has possibly caught that illness that his mother has. We're going to send him back to the Simbilis land. He can go try to rest. He hasn't been having any luck with catching any fish. And even though the chicken coop was cleaned, when Og went to check on it, it was pretty filthy. He cleaned it again and he saw that there was an egg in there. Rodenthal's fishing skills are not that great. The fish are too crafty for him, but he is going to attempt to gather some more fish. It looks like Flint has suddenly decided that he is a spirit bear and he is going through a phase that he wants to wear this bear suit all the time. I am a fishing bear. I am the bear spirit of the orange fruit. Could you tell me more about this orange bear spirit that you are told to portray? I just feel the bear spirit <laughs> roaring through me. I'm a bear and there's nothing you could do to change that. Well, I guess you could talk to me more about my bear suit. Maybe you could dress like a bear as well. I believe the spirit of the bear will help me to fish better. All right, so Flint has changed into the spirit of the bear costume because Flint told him that this would help them catch fish better. Flint and Ronan are going to try to catch more fish wearing the spirit of the bear costume. This will actually get Flint to get out of this phase faster, but Ronan doesn't know that. Ronan just believes that Flint, who is a very good fisherman, knows some sort of secret to catching fish, and Ronan is a terrible fisherman right now, so he'll do anything to learn to be a better fisherman. Ben has just returned from his work. He had stuffed food in his bags so he would have lunch, but it turned rancid, so he's gonna go deal with that. I'll just finish working on the chair. She notices that Og is making a mess with pigment. She's going to reprimand him. And it looks like Danu has come to visit, and she's just walking away from this child who's thrown paint all over. You learn this bad habit from your brother, Fifth. You're old enough to know better. We don't make messes here on the Sibyllis land. The land looks trashy enough. You need to clean up the 
the mess you made. That's exactly what you need to do. You need to clean up any messes that you see. Very good, Og. They are acting out. They were not acting out before. That she sees her grandson is taking care of the mess. She's gonna come over here and work on some of her herbalism skill. She should really go back out to Granite Falls to get some more herbs while it is summer. Perhaps she'll do that soon. Now, Og has finished cleaning up the mess he created. He's watching his grandmother make something mysterious in a pot. Grandmother, what are you doing? And he has asked her for some advice. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. What can I do? She would say, that present is for you. Be grateful. So Isle has advised Og, affecting his character values. His manners have increased. His empathy has decreased. Isle is very focused on working on her herbalism. She can't make any mistakes because she doesn't have a lot of herbs. Og has wandered away from his grandmother and he sees a stranger on the edge of the Sibyllus land. Hi, are you here to pick up the trash? No, no, I'm looking for Ben. What is your name, little boy? Do you know who Ben is? I saw him out here the other day. Why do you want to talk to Ben? Ben looks like a frog. He doesn't even know how to juggle balls like grandmother does. Ben is not a very good person to talk to. You should talk to me instead. I know how to grow plants and I know how to take care of chickens. Where are you going, lady? The new lady has run onto the Symbilis lands. She is looking for Ben. Og couldn't stop her. It looks like Aya has arrived on the Symbilis land. Isle has come out to greet her best friend. She's gonna catch up on some gossip with Aya. I'm so glad that you told me about the box heads the other day. I'm sort of happy that Patia is gone. How could you say something so horrible about the passing of someone. Will you forgive me for saying such horrible things about Fatia? Wearing the bear costume has caused Flint to catch a really interesting fish called a discus. How is it that you can catch such amazing fish? I am wearing the spirit of the bear costume as well and I'm not catching any fish. It's because your spirit of the bear costume is purple and mine is orange and orange is sunny and the fish come to the Son. I don't understand the logic in that, but I'll go with it uh, as the bear spirit has come forth from the forest to talk to you about how to catch the fish. Look, see, I'm pulling in an enormous fish. Look, here it comes. Oh, this fish is shaped like a log. I'll throw it back until it becomes fish shaped. It looks like the woman that Og was talking to is sitting on Ilsa's bed. Ilsa doesn't know who this woman is. She wants to know why this strange woman is in her room. I'm looking Looking for Ben. Do you know anyone named Ben? Ben is my son. Did you travel all the way here to find my son? I don't want to fight with you, but why are you in my hut? I was sleeping and you woke me up. I saw him the other day out by the little chicken hut. Oh, hello. Did the stone goddesses send you to us? She's looking for Ben. She wandered out here on a grand adventure and saw my son, mother. He sounds very talented. He knows how to garden and raise chickens. Even though he doesn't raise lions. Mamas. Were you really looking for Ben? We are trying to find a mate for my grandson. What do you have to offer? Do you have any special skills? Perhaps she's a prospective mate, mother. It's somebody we don't know. We should learn more about her. Maybe she would be a good match for him. Yes, we should learn more about her. Ben might really, really like her. Isle is going off to find that woman that was asking her about Ben. She wants to know a lot more about her. The woman is in the eating hot eating. Eating. Do you know how to cook? Person who we set up with Ben to be a mate must know how to cook. We have fruits and vegetables where I live. I know how to prepare many types of fruits and vegetables. I could talk to you about the fruits and vegetables that I know if you like. Flint is tired of fishing. He is coming back to the Symbilis land in his purple spirit bear outfit. He has left Flint out there. And Flint is out here fishing all by himself. Flint is feeling a little angry. He's happy that. That Ronan left. He can calm down. He is a hot-headed sim. He was ignored for the majority of his childhood. Being alone is something that makes him feel better. And it's come into the hut where his grandmother and his mother are asking this woman that he met the other day questions. Finds it really hysterical that someone that he was scoping out to be a possible mate is now being questioned about being his possible mate. Perhaps he will be able to learn something about the woman that he met the other day. Okay. Cool.
But it looks like the woman is leaving, so Ben isn't going to get to talk to her. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our cricket house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.